Let's go through the details related to DML. DML stands for Data Manipulation Language. Once the tables are created, we typically have to manipulate data inside the tables. All the statements that are used to manipulate data in tables are categorized under DML. We have insert, update and delete as part of DML statements. Each entry in a table is typically termed as row or record. We use insert to insert one or more new records into a table. Update can be used to update existing records inside a table based on a condition. Similarly, delete can be used to delete one or more records from a table based on a condition. We can also use truncate to delete all the records in one shot. However, it is DDL statement and we should not use as part of web or mobile application development. In data engineering applications, we often use truncate table to truncate data from the stage tables. But in web or mobile application development, we rarely use the truncate to truncate data from the table. All DML statements can be committed or rolled back within a transaction. We will talk about the transaction and what is committed and rolled back at a later point in time. Here is sample insert statement which uses all nominal columns without any default values. When we specify the columns for the table users, there are three columns, user first name, user last name and user email ID. They are nominal columns and there are no default values associated with them and hence we have to specify those columns at the least as part of the insert statement like this and then you have to pass corresponding values like this. The syntax is you have to start with insert then into these two keywords have to be used then you have to specify the table name then in circular brackets you have to specify the column names like this. These column names should be correct column names from the users table then values and then in circular brackets you have to pass corresponding values to the columns that are specified as part of the columns clause here. Now you can run this to insert this one record into the table and you can query the table for all the other columns, the defaults or the serial numbers are used to insert into this table. You can see user ID is 1. First name, last name and email ID are the ones which are passed here. For the rest of the columns, most of them have default values except for user password and it is set to null. You can also insert multiple records in one shot like this. You just have to specify all the columns to which you want to insert the data. And here I am trying to insert 4 records. You can run this and you can see the message saying 4 rows affected and you should be able to run this query to actually preview the results. We have five records in the table. You can use update statement to update records like this. If you do not specify where condition, it will update all the records in the table. In this case, I am trying to set user email validated and is active to true without any where condition. As of now, user email validated and is active are false. Once I run this and once you run this query, you can see that User email validated is true for all the rows. Similarly, even is active is true for all the rows. Now, if you try to set user role to C where user ID equal to 1, it will fail because as part of the table definition, we want to have only U or A. If you go back to the DDL statements here, you can see that we have added the check constraint on user role column with only A and U, A for admin and U for user and we are trying to update with C here and it will fail and also you can see that there is a where condition we are trying to update only one record where user id equal to 1 you can specify any valid condition here you can even have multiple conditions depending upon what records you want to update as per the requirements now let me run this and you can see that it is failing with check constraint somewhere you will see that error message here let me scroll down you can see here users violates check constraint users underscore user role check now you can run this and you should be able to update because the user role is being set to A. You can run this to see the results here. For user ID 1, the user role is A. You can delete records from the table using condition like this. If you do not specify the condition, it will try to delete all the records from the table. But in this case, it will try to delete all the users with the user role U, leaving the admin aside. You can run this and you can see the message saying that 4 rows affected and then you can say select star from users to review the results. There is only one record in this table. This is how you should be able to manipulate data inside the table which is pre-created earlier. And DML is one of the most frequently used category to manipulate data inside the tables along with the DQL which we'll be seeing as part of the next topic.